Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So we're back taking a look at another amazing creation from the Steam Community Workshop. So this is the Wanderer Class Exploration Vessel, created by Indy. And it's an older build, it's been around for quite some time now, but I've really wanted to have a look at it with you, and I'm going to show you the detail that's gone into both the exterior and the interior. This is a small ship gone wild. And if you don't know what I mean by that, that is a small ship built on a large ship sort of scale. So let's take a look around the exterior. So we're going to start at the back and work our way around to the front with this one. We've got this really lovely detailed engine bay. So we've got two of the larger thrusters there with these little orange cells with smaller iron thrusters tucked into the back with some detailed piping and connectors and it just really looks quite fantastic. Coming down the bottom we've got some more piping and detailing of these small iron thrusters there at the rear. Now as we wrap our way around the side to add some extra detailing we actually have some oxygen farms followed by some more hydrogen thrusters that are on this sort of angled engine bay cell. So this is two slats of armour that have been tilted with this central area with a little bit of speaker for detailing. But there's lots of angles, lots of hinges and lots of rotors built within this design. Going around the front you can see that we've got two iron thrusters and a little engine there as well to add some detailing to it. Coming around the side before we go up to the top we've got this interesting detailed segment here. I'm not too sure if there's a storage or some sort of thing but It'll leave it up to your imagination. Coming underneath, we've got some more batteries that are connecting up, and we've got the large thrusters that face down to the ground. We've got the central holding area for the landing gear when it's in transport. And if you look under these wings here, you'll see the lowering landing gear segment for the side. So this is the three landing gear design, and we'll have a look at that when we launch them from inside. Two small windows there below the armor, the XCW logo on the side, and we've got a few windows throughout the ship that are just nicely recessed into the blue armor. And as we come along the top, we've got the landing bay for the small transport ship. Perhaps a ship that could take you down to a planet or venture off on another escapade while the main ship's doing some research or exploration. So that's the top area. Really nice little antenna here created out of them small little panel blocks. Look nice and detailed with that red and white just as a bit of a communications array. Now coming to the front, we've got the observation camera. So below this camera, there's actually a chair that you can sit on and you can rotate this camera around and observe things in space or on planets. Another little cool communications array and just have a look at the sloping effect of this armour. How it comes into the cockpit area there at the front. It's just spectacular. It's a really nice piece of design engineering. So as we have a look around the cockpit, we'll access our light just to make it a little bit brighter. And you see the cockpit is located in this glass cabin right there. And then below here, we actually have the entrance way to inside. I'm going to put my character next to it just so you can get a little bit of idea of how big this small ship gone wild is. And then we'll head inside. So if I come under here, you'll notice there's a little button. We'll access our light as well as to light things up. And we have this lovely up and down ramp, complete with a caution warning label on the bottom. What I really like about this ramp, though, is if you have a look here, we've actually got these little piston things, but they're not pistons. These are just like a bit of artwork, you could say, to detail or leave you to your imagination that these retract up and down. It's just a hinge with some blocks placed on, but it doesn't actually do anything at all. All the work is done by the hinges on the doorway itself. So there we go. That rises back up into there, and you've got this really nicely detailed hangar bay. Look at all these struts. And details in the ceiling above from pipe work to little antennas and detectors that have been added in. We'll turn the light off just to get a little bit of the ambience in here. So as we come over to this side you'll notice that we've got two of these little speeder bikes. Perfect for exploration on the planet's surface. Really nice little creations these matching the ship of course. It's very luxury that when you've got some armour that matches the ship and everything kind of fits into one sort of style. Here it is a little bit of a work area. Some panels are being fabricated perhaps. And some cargo crates there themselves. A nice little cargo crate idea with these little end caps on the end. And then a bit more detailing with the beacons flashing. So we've got two ways of getting up to the next deck. This is actually a three deck ship. So there's a mid deck and there's an upper deck. So we have... Ooh, the clang of all the hinges and rotors is catching up. We have the ladder access there. We've also got the elevator here. So let's call the elevator. Call the elevator down. Elevators in ships seem to be all the latest fad at the moment. So we'll go up to the second floor. It raises us up here. We've got access, of course, to the ladder in case the elevator breaks down. And we can step ourselves out and bring ourselves to the mid deck. What I quite like about this whole uh, hallway is you might not have noticed that there's been these little armoured panels there just to break up 
the blue colour inside here, complete with some warning signs between areas. And you've got this observation area above the hangar that you can actually access the ramp door. So you can see we can lower and raise the ramp from there as well if we want to. Coming down that side, it's just a dead end. But coming back here, we actually enter into the pressurised area. Let's see a lot behind us. So we've got engineering, we've got a lounge, and we've got the med bay. Let's check the med bay out first. So coming up into the med bay, you've got this really nice medical area with two medical chairs, complete with plushies on shelves. It's just a very nice luxury interior for a space engineer ship. Each one of these chairs has been thought out and detailed in design. You've got a little bit of a window as well there to lower areas. It is hard building shelves and items like this in space engineers. What item is that? That's an interesting broken down construction. Is it an exhaust that's been broken down? But yeah, it's hard to build interior components like this. So coming back across, we've got engineering. This is one of my favourite rooms. I really like these larger engines that have been kind of transplanted in here with the shelves at the end. Look at all the detail, all the lighting going on here. It's very sort of immersive. You've got these little control panels, logs, computers on the side of these reactors. It's just perfect. Really nice little interior, complete with all the bells and whistles that you can ever want. And let's continue into the next area. So we'll close up engineering and into the lounge. So this is like a luxury sort of resting area, complete with a manufacturer's sign. Look at that cute dog. And we've got lots of memes and some other little plushies on shelves around here as well, complete with a dining table and a little bathroom. Lots of room detail in there and a very big bog roll. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that won't run out. Industrial sized bog roll on that one. A little carpet there as well and some windows leading down. So as we go back through the corridor, just a moment of appreciation for a nice sci-fi S corridor. They don't get enough appreciation. We'll head back to the elevator. So coming up into the elevator, we're now going to access the next floor. Let's get the center of my screen. And this will bring us to the top deck. Now, there is a mid a mid deck here that I've not yet explored. I'm a bit fit. So this is a crouch corridor. I can just about fit in here. Oh, no, I've got myself stuck. This is not good. <laughs> got myself stuck in this corridor. Uh, are we going to have to access a jetpack? Oh, we can't access a jetpack while we crouched. Oh no, you're going to have to leave me with this one to fix this. I'll bring the camera in here first, just to have a, a little bit of a nosy of what's happened. So just below here, we have the access to the elevator. And we have access to the corridor that I'm actually stuck in. So my head's stuck on one of the lamps. So we'll just have a little bit of a dive into it, see where this leads. So this leads to the back and front sections of the ship. So you've got these little vents that look into the living quarters. That's a bit creepy, isn't it? I like the idea of it though, it's not, at least it's not empty space, every sort of ship needs these little ducks for weird creatures to crawl around. And this duck drops down and then looks out to space, and also looks into, what's that, the engine, no, that's the main hangaway, that's cool, I love this little ducting system. Let's get a character out of here though, because I don't think he thinks it's that cool. So popping out of there, this is the elevator on the top floor, where I would have arrived at. This is the observation chair that's spinning around, if I just jump in. We access the camera. We can absolutely observe up to, I think it's like a 45 degree angle around the ship. So pretty cool for an observation. Of course, you've got the zoom of the camera there as well. And it's ejected me onto the roof, so I'll pop myself back in. So that's the observation chair. Coming into the back here, we have the hangar bay that we saw on the outside. So this is a cool little transport ship. It's got its own little ramp. And then in here, we've got the sort of bridge cockpit control area. We'll have a look at this a little bit shortly. Continue our tour, though. So this landing area is just tight enough to fit that ship in, so it'd be a very hard landing to do. You can see there's not much room for clearance on either side. Coming, in, coming back in, as we work our way around to each one of these wings, we've got like a, a comforting lounge with a nice carpet and a large double bed. Very luxurious. I like the split shelf design up there. Maybe there could be a few more items that they could put on shelves. That would be nice. Back up through the lovely blue corridor. That's the area there. That's the lift. And we come down here, let's double check, that's ladder access to the engineering area. And then we've got the health and safety closed off lab. But if you peek through there and you do have a look at this build, it just says that uh, sadly they couldn't build any lab features, they were struggling to do it. But it's, it's no fault of their own, there's so much detail going on to each of the elements of this creation. Sometimes you do get a little bit of creative block on how to build certain blocks. We've got tables, we've got plates, we've got a dining room on this side. Let's go over to the other side, I think there's more of like a sleeping area. So it's like an office with drawers over that side. There's that little vent. That's a bit creepy. And then there's a bunk bed over on this side there as well. Complete with its own ensuite. Double. Very big toilet rolls out there. <laughs> Coming around the front and down into the ship. Let's have a little bit of a pilot of this thing. So you've got these rear cockpit areas for controls. And then you've got the main cockpits up here themselves. So let's uh, have a little bit of a movement. Let's make sure we've got the right cockpit set up. 
So the important thing to remember here with this is we do actually need to take control of different elements and make sure we're on the right seat as well. Let's just have a look through. So that's not the right seat. That's not the right one. Is this the main cockpit? So that looks like it is the main cockpit. We can only fire them auxiliary thrusters, so I'm guessing we're going to have to boost them up. Let's check our menu, see what we've got. So we've got the landing gears on one. So that's what the landing gears look like when they fall down. I like a nice simple folding out landing gear design like that. They'd have to be pretty damn strong as well to support the weight of this ship. But they look like they're made out of large grids, so they could do it. Let's have a look at our gyroscope control, or are we going to have to access this through a different thing? So we've got landing feet. We have got the ramp that we can access, the hydrogen thrust that we've got on, iron thrust on, Voltar rotors. Let's have a look at that. So if we activate eight, we've got some Voltar rotors. Have they turned themselves on or do we need to access? Oh, there we go. So we've got the side thrusters that turn to a vertical takeoff position. Very cool. I didn't even know that they did that. Let's rotate them back. So rotating them back into a normal flying position and locking them in place. Then we can head on to our next menu. So on our next menu, we have ourselves the AA turret lock that's on. We have the doors. We've got custom turret controller left and right. Let's have a quick look at them. So these are little turrets hidden within somewhere. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, I'm not liking this. Where's our ship gone? Okay, looks like we're being propelled along. So the turrets have not opened up successfully. Let's try them again. I'm just trying to work out where these turrets are actually hidden with inside the ship. Because I've not deployed these before. Oh, there we go. There's one. That's deployed successfully. Let's lower that back down. Let's lower that. Okay, so there we go. So it's button one and then button two. Look at that. That's quite cool, isn't it? Let's see if we can get a break on this ship. If we can stop ourselves from rolling forward. No, it doesn't seem like we can. We're not able to activate all the thrust. So they're manually controlled turrets. I like that idea. I didn't even see them with the design. They were so well hidden within the shape of the ship. So let's get ourselves back control of the ship. Check what's on our other tab. So nothing on the other tabs there. Let's switch to the other seat. Just double check. This is not the main cockpit. This is going to be one for the current the turrets, isn't it? All right, like so. So all of the thrust and the other systems must be on a manual control or manual override to get them functioning. I'm going to have a play and I'll see if we can get it working. So I did have a quick look about getting the main ship to fly, but I just couldn't. There's too many subgrids with different grids and different sizes attached to it. So I thought what might be nice is if we could get ourselves into this one and take off the little fighter as a backup prize instead. So we are ready to lock. Have we got anything attached that we haven't? So let's turn them on, off. Let's get our thrusters on, our iron on. Can we get a nine on there? Oh, I'm not liking this. Can we turn them off? Are they just on con constant boost or is that because we're moving? It might be because we're moving. I'm just trying to make sure. See, oh, so the connection is, is too strong by the look of that. So our landing gears are off. Let's disconnect that with a four, a six. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're in the air. Yes, it's a very narrow cargo bay. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. We've got some movement. Yeah, I struggled to get that larger ship moving. I just think that it's probably one of them situations where if you're not the designer of it, you've got to look at a second or a third time into how to get things working. Now that being said, it was a spectacular ship to look at. And if you enjoyed this, there'll be a link down to this ship in the description of this video. And if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.